Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I send you so much love and light. I hope that you're all doing great. So this is your soulmate twin flame love reading and this is for those of you that are separated from your person. And of course, all signs can watch this video. We're gonna look deeply into the connection and see what is going on with them. What are their feelings for you? How do they feel? What are their emotions? What is it that they want to tell you that they're holding back from saying? We'll take a look at what you need to know the most and then we'll ask spirit to show us into the near future okay you guys so if you are new to this channel my name is lynn this is passion and heart tarot thank you so much for clicking on the video and for those of you that are returning i love you all much love and light let's jump right in and see what is going on so this energy is for the week ahead okay so like the 26th through the second like monday to monday let's ask spirit to show us into the connection okay you guys before i begin your reading just want to take a moment to invite the white light, the Holy Spirit. Okay, you guys, the first thing that we're going to look into is your person's emotions. So whoever this is that you have on your mind... How do they truly feel about you? What do you mean to them? What does the connection mean to them? Let's look very deeply into their emotions. Sagittarius is coming through. I wonder if you guys are Sagittarius. Maybe you have that moon or rising. Maybe your person has Sagittarius, moon or rising. Gemini is also here, so same thing. You might be a Gemini, have that moon or rising, or maybe your person has that energy, sun, moon or rising. There's such um, a need, like wanting to express to you that first of all, they want to be with you. They don't want to be apart. Losing you felt like it shook up their whole life. And now they're in this phase of like, I want to prove myself. I want to prove that um, I'm trustworthy, that we can like build something together again. Even if we just start like from scratch and we go piece by piece, they want to they wanna open up to you and they want to let go of this baggage, let go of like the emotional burdens that they feel. They're, they're doing a lot of wondering about what you want from them because they, they don't know. They feel like they don't know anyway. They feel like, well, if you want this, why aren't you doing something? And I wonder if you feel that way about them. And I, I say that because there's like a lot of mirroring going on here with these lovers. So you guys feel the same way about a lot of things. I know where you both feel like you want the trust to come back, that you want to open up your heart to it and that you really want to let go of just the heaviness of it all. Maybe even like getting a, a clean start. That's what they want. And they kind of... um. They feel like they don't really know what to do to get the ball rolling, like to get things back on track. But just just know that it is what they want. I know that some of you watching this may feel like you want your person to take more action. But I just see where they they just feel defeated, like they don't really know what to do. Doesn't mean that they'll always be stuck in that energy and they won't figure it out. But that's where they are right now. They're working on themselves. They're working on, I wonder if you were dealing with someone that blamed you a lot for things, took things out on you. I see where they're working on themselves and they're, they've been building themselves up, working on letting go of things from the past. And I can see where they're in this energy of wanting to start new, however that looks to you. Maybe there's something you need to forgive them about, or maybe they need to forgive you. But the energy that's here is like wanting to get it back, wanting to, to rebuild it. Because I'm telling you, the breaking up, not being with you is one of the hardest things that they've ever had to deal with. So there's just this energy of wanting the, wanting to get the trust back. Wanting to get those open hearts back again. And it's important for you to know that they're not just sitting here. Just I know that it can make you feel one way if 
they're not like doing what you want them to do. And I completely understand that, but I also see in their energy of like not really knowing what to do, wanting it back so badly, but not really taking the action that they should. I want to look into this Sagittarius energy. They, they kind of want you to like, give me a sign. What is it that you want me to do? So the initials B and J are here, as well as like this beautiful kindred spirit connection that I'm sure some of you feel that you are in, like a twin soul. That energy is here. And it's a true one. That's what I want you to know. Even if you, you know, you're separated from them now, it doesn't, um, it hasn't, broken you guys up and i know that sounds funny because i still see where you're still connected to them uh telepathically emotionally spiritually you guys still connect i'm sure that you still dream of each other and that's your like soul's ways of reconnecting where Where the, like we can be very stubborn, right? When we get too like bogged down by by things that have happened, which I completely understand. You know, when we go through hurt, it can make us closed off. But it's funny because your souls are like, well, you can't you can't stop us from being together. And it's like when you sleep, that's when you do this astral traveling. So if you're dreaming about them, know that those connections are very real. That's not just a dream. That's because your souls long to be together and you'll find one way or another, even if it's like you remove the ego. And when you're free spiritually, you'll go and see your person or they'll come and see you. So know that they are dreaming about you, especially if you're dreaming about about them and uh what they want is like um so i don't know why your person feels like they don't know what to do and, and it's crazy because like because they don't know what to do they're not doing anything and they're just kind of waiting waiting for you to show them to pull back that curtain a little bit and say like come this way i'm gonna let you in i know you may not want to but i know that if you reached out it would be something that clears up a lot of the confusion. Someone needs someone needs to reach out. That's that's the thing because this is something that can be rebuilt. There's actually like potential for a second chance. But I just see where um they feel like, "Well, you're not doing anything, so I'm not going to do anything." And then you just stay on this hamster wheel going around and around. You know, not to put pressure on you. You'll have to do what you feel is best for you, but I also know that your person is like waiting for some kind of sign from you. Maybe you could do something small, like liking one of their pictures on Instagram or something, you know? Something small like that would really send a message to them that you are open to talking. Okay, you guys, so that's really important for you to know that you are, I mean, your person loves you and they want, they want to be able to fix things. That's the bottom line. They, they don't want it to be over. They want to let go of the bad and, and create something new and beautiful together. They think very highly of you and they have a lot of respect for you. And I can see that um, you'll understand if you know that your connection is like a true twin soul. Okay, you guys, it's very, very important because I know where you guys go through all of these different circumstances. So if you're, you know, someone watching this and you're thinking back to someone who was like abusive to you, brought a lot of darkness into your life, that is not a twin soul soulmate connection. Okay, that's very, very important for you to know that's like a karmic thing. So don't mix them up because this is something that's really special that you guys know that you have. Okay, so let's move along and let's see what it is that they want to say to you that they are holding back from saying maybe your person is not good at expressing themselves maybe they don't have a way to get through to you because you have them blocked or vice versa you know so let's see in their heart of hearts what it is that they want to express to you let's ask spirit to show us their secret message
Oh, MG, there's so much past life energy here between the two of you. And Pisces energy is coming through. You guys might be Pisces. Maybe your person is a Pisces. Maybe there's moon or rising energy. What they want to say to you is like, you. I can't get you off of my mind. I think of you day and night. You are the first thing I think of when I wake up. And the last thing I think about when I go to sleep. You're... I have so many fantasies about what we could create together and I want you to know that I'm holding on to the best memories that we've created. I'm here, I'm waiting for you, I'm never gonna let you go and you have to know that my heart is broken without you. I am dying without you. I can't believe that we let this come between us and break us apart. Wow, there, there's a lot of emotion that your person wants to express to you, especially um, it's important for you to know that they are really, really crushed and really heartbroken being without you. It's um, I know that you might see them and feel like they just play it cool. For those of you that still have a way of like communicating with them, seeing them. Um, and they want you to know that I only play it cool to cover up how broken my heart is because I see where there's a very alpha energy here and someone who always kind of has to save face, someone who maybe they... <sighs> Maybe they're just letting their pride get the best of them because I see where they show you one thing. They show you that side. Acting like everything is, is just fine and that they're doing so great. The secret message to you is like, I'm broken up. I paint on a smile with lipstick or if it's a guy, like I just, you know, I smile in my pictures, but that's not how I feel inside. Inside, I'm crushed. I, I feel like I can't move. I feel like I can't go anywhere. And I can't get you off of my mind. It's important for you to know what a hard time they are having, especially if they try to disguise it the way that I can see. You, you still have their heart. And there's, there's like no bad blood that's here. So for some of you, like maybe you're, maybe you feel like you did something wrong in the connection and you've been afraid to reach out, wondering if they're still holding things against you. They're not. They're absolutely not. They, they're only thinking of like the most positive experiences that you guys have had. Honestly, because the overall energy is like, I think back to when we did this and when we did that. And it just brings me back to such a beautiful place where I feel so good inside. And I, I just hold myself in that place. And I don't want to leave that place. But reality is without you. And that's when my heart breaks all over again. You have someone here who really loves you. You have someone here that's who's holding on um, because they don't know what else to do. And I know for some of you where they may not show that, especially like through their actions where like they haven't made a, a move towards you, it's because they don't know what to do and they're kind of waiting for you to give them a sign to show them that. Because this is someone for some of you who they do have a lot of pride and they kind of feel like... um. I have to like maintain my, this alpha energy. I always have to be like, come across like perfect all the time. But just know that even if like you look at them and everything seems perfect around them, inside they are dying and they're so crushed. You see the energy, the three of swords coming through. This is the biggest heartache that they've ever felt in their life being apart from you, losing you. And maybe that's all they can do, you, you know? All right, you guys, that's really important for you to know that it, that is what they keep inside and that is what they want to tell you that they are not saying. You're constantly on their mind. You're even like haunting their dreams. Okay, that is what they wanna say. Let's move along and ask Spirit to show us what do you need to know the most about the connection? And then we'll see into the near future. Let's ask Spirit to show us what you need to know the most. Could be about the connection, could be about your person. Let's see what messages are revealed.
So Pisces energy is coming through, you guys. You guys, again, could be Pisces. Your person could be Pisces. Moon or rising energy is here. The initial M is also here. There's a lot that they want to, like, that, that they haven't revealed to you just yet. But that it's not because they don't love you. It's not because they don't trust you. Um, this is a person who's like going through a transformation. They're working really hard on like grounding their energy, balancing what their head tells them compared to what their heart tells them. Because I know where, where maybe they felt really lost at times and they've taken that out on you. But you have to know that they're um, they're heading into a really good place. And I'm sure that that'll make you happy to hear it because like the better they are, the healthier they can be for you. I see where they're, they're like at a crossroads now and, and feeling like they're looking at their life differently than they ever have before, more seriously than they ever have before, and from a more balanced place than they ever have. And there's just so much that they want to give to you from their heart. Their love is very real and it's very pure, even if they haven't always like let their heart be wide open and, and just like let you so, so deep into their life. It doesn't mean that um it wasn't there. That That's very important for you to know. Because I see a lot of energy of holding back and um, they're starting to realize the way that they did. And, and if you guys choose to reunite with them, there's like this whole other beautiful side to them that you haven't seen, especially like the tenderness of their heart. But I don't want you to think that they've held back because of you lacking anything. That's because they were lacking. That's because they weren't balanced. That's because they were dealing with things that they didn't really like want to see within themselves, things that they didn't want to feel that maybe you as a catalyst brought up to them, you know, made them made them realize things that they'd rather not, especially about like how they're so closed off. Um, but I can see where they're they're in a really good place. If they're a business owner, um, they're they have a lot of success, a lot of stability, a lot of financial independence. And of course, if you were to reunite with them, that would just carry over into the connection with you of being able to provide you with something very stable. Because really, that is what they want. However, that looks to you like the stability of a partnership, building a family together, um, creating something very beautiful where you can be together like generation after generation. Like I can see where from your union, many generations can come. Okay, so there's like a there's a lot of blessings here for you still, even though you're separated now. It's like you have something that's destined to be together. It's just like kind of working out the kinks, maybe uh, more on their end of being able to balance themselves. Because remember, you deserve that. You deserve someone who's bringing you stability. You deserve someone who is in a healthy place mentally, spiritually, emotionally, maybe even physically for some of you. So I just see where um, they're doing well. That's important for you to know. And it's, a, it's good because all of that will just create a healthy person for you to be with. Because I can see where there's just so much love here that's waiting to come to the surface, that's waiting to be revealed. You have to know that what they feel for you, they've never felt it for anyone else, ever. They've never felt emotions so deep. They've never felt love like this. And it, it really sparked something within them, especially for those of you that felt like, well, why don't you just let me in? It wasn't always easy for them because I see where it just made them see things that they didn't want to see. And, and that's within themselves, okay? That's really important for you to understand. But there still is so much potential here like I said, to create a life, to create a life with this person, a life that's full of um, comfort and safety and happiness, children, animals, 
like ancestors, all of that energy is here with a lot of love. I just see where they're um, in a more balanced place than they've been in a long time. Um, and they're just working more and more at that, okay? That's really important for you guys to know. Now let's take a look and see what is coming in for the near future. So Sagittarius energy is coming through again. You guys might be Sagittarius here. You might even um, have that moon arising or maybe your person is. There's, I can just see where there's still um, more work that needs to be done on someone feeling like they can trust the other one. Cause I just see where there's like this energy that wants like to reach the other one, to let them know that they really, really are special, to let them know that they are the one, the only one. But it's like it keeps getting blocked. It really does. And I can just see where maybe you're the one who's watching this feeling like I just can't. I don't know if I can let it go. It's just like this overall energy of feeling like um you're not the only one or you're not like number one. Some of you might have a worry that someone else has come into the picture or or your person could feel that way. That's why it's so important for you guys to try and just communicate because like when there's when there's a lack of communication because you guys are so like intensely attached to one another it's so easy to like misinterpret things, read into things. Cause I think that someone might like see something and then they feel like they jump to all of these conclusions. Like, oh, um, you have someone else or mm, it's crazy to me. Cause I know that it's just like a big misunderstanding. It really is with the way that, so it's important for, it might even be important that you maybe stay off of their social media if you keep looking at it. And if you look at it and if you feel like it hurts you, then don't look at it. Because I just see where there is this energy of someone looking and not liking what they see, maybe feeling like someone is too close to their person, or maybe even like, well, you have time to do all of this and that, but then I haven't heard from you and you don't reach out to me. It's just like um, things that are still unresolved, old wounds that someone just won't let go of. That could be your person or that could be you, but I just see this overall energy of being stuck. Now, you don't have to let it be that way. Just because we're looking at the near future, you can shift the energy, especially if you remember how they feel about you. You remember what it is that they want from you. You remember like their secret message and, and what you need to know the most. And maybe um, just like taking taking a chance at communicating because I feel like a lot of this energy comes in when there's such a lack of communication because it makes one of you just feel so, so stuck. So stuck and not able to let go of like what it is that's hurting you, bringing it up all over again. So I would say that it's important that you try to work on like changing this energy around because it does not have to be that way. That's what I'm saying. And I tell you that because I see where your person has a lot of respect for you and there is no one that compares to you. They're looking at you in this empress's energy. 
but I wonder why someone feels like they're not the only one. They feel like they're um, not a priority. And seeing this judgment card come here, especially with the Ace of Swords in reverse, I know that it's because of like not speaking up, not talking, and then they let it, um, they jump to conclusions. They really do, and they just feel like, oh, well, I guess you are you must be doing this and that since you, you're not talking to me. Someone is making a judgment too quickly, too harshly. And I say that because look at this couple that's coming through, the emperor and the empress. There's no one that compares to you, and I know you feel where there's no one that compares to them. Don't let like petty things or misunderstandings or miscommunication try not to let that keep coming between you and your person but what can change that is actually talking because if you guys go another week without talking i can see where it just has such a negative effect on the outlook of things so if i were you i would strongly advise like trying to not wait another week without talking because it just like brings this energy of, I guess I'm not important. I guess I'm not a priority. But that the crazy thing about it is like, that is not true. You guys are a perfect match for one another. And I can see with an emperor and an empress how you both take one another very seriously. You value what the other one thinks. You value them as a person. You value their spirit. And they do the same for you. Because I just see where these are like misunderstandings through not communicating. And when you guys don't communicate, it like brings up these old wounds and someone can't let go of it. Especially if they felt like they were not always number one or like their person wouldn't always let them in. I want you to know that there's like, there's no funny business going on. That's the thing. Seeing this Sagittarius energy come in reverse... Because it's, like it's like a promiscuous energy here. Three of cups and then that knight of wands. Um, but this is not someone who's like just doing whatever they want with whoever they want. That's not the energy that's here. And I know that it, it like a lot of it can be misinterpreted, especially when you're already looking at it from a hurt place. But try not to let yourself jump to conclusions. Try not to let maybe something that happened to you in the past outside of this connection interfere and make you feel like, oh, well, that's the same pattern that I saw before. Because I'm telling you that it's not. I'm telling you that they're not like, they're not involved with anyone else. It doesn't surprise me that this is here, but the tragic thing about it is is like if um you guys don't talk. And if like I said, if you keep seeing something that like if you're watching their pictures or their stories or whatever and you feel like there's someone that's around them and you don't like that person being around them, either stop watching or like reach out to them and talk to them. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like when you guys don't talk, it creates some um, unnecessary hurt feelings, unnecessary interferences in the connection. It prevents you guys from coming, obviously prevents you from coming back together. So while there are a lot of red flags for the week ahead, there's also a lot of strategies that Spirit showed us in how to avoid this energy. Especially if you can just remember that what what they mean to you you mean that to them and there is a lot of love that's here so even if you feel like you're like not number one or the only one sitting in that energy and just kind of wallowing away in it is not going to help anything not speaking up is not going to help anything jumping to conclusions or like um it's jumping to conclusions and, and being too quick to judge those are all mistakes that you really want to avoid in the week ahead. All right, so maybe it's just time for you to like do some more. If, if you feel like you don't want to reach out to them, I, I completely understand. So maybe it's just time that you take that time to just be with yourself and sit with yourself and work through the emotions that you feel. 
because I'm telling you, if whoever this isn't now, to be fair, it could be what they do to you. But whoever it is that um, jumps to the conclusions like this, they're just going to set the connection back, which is crazy to me because both of you still love each other and still like have so much respect and, and truly look at the other one as like your true person and your other half. So what I will say for the week ahead is to try and avoid that energy. And if you know that you tend to be someone who gets jealous easily, maybe someone who just has insecurities that they're dealing with. I see you being especially um, sensitive and maybe more vulnerable than you realize because it really is like jumping to conclusions. Try to avoid that energy, you guys. And I would say um, try not to let another week pass where you guys don't communicate. It's something to strongly consider. I don't say that to pressure you, but it is something to consider. Now, communication can be all different things. It could be something as as simple as like sending a, a quick text. How are you? Something or if, if you know that you are in touch with them on social media, maybe like saying hi, because remember, they're waiting for you to kind of like pull back that curtain and show them that you want to reunite. I want you to remember how much they love you and how much uh, I'm like, my God, how much it hurts them being without you and how they really want to rebuild this connection. So the week ahead looks very tricky. So you might want to just like avoid speak, like avoid like speaking from a place of like pure emotion. Really try to balance yourself and think things through. And don't be too quick to judge or jump to conclusions if you see something that makes you feel like someone's coming between you and them. Okay, because it's it's re that's really not what it is. There's a lot of overthinking that's here. And someone who just won't let themselves be um, balanced, be free. So there's a lot for you guys to think about. That's what I can see coming in for the week ahead. And just remember... I wish you guys could just remember that because I root for you. I do because I see where you have something that's really special and like these little, you know, these things keep getting in the way, preventing the two of you from coming back together. And now I don't mean, um, when I say little things, if you're dealing with someone that's like been abusive to you, someone that's you know, been like emotionally abusive, spiritually abusive, uh, done things to make you feel belittled, to make you feel small. That is not who I'm talking about. And that is not a twin soul connection. That's very important for you to know. That's more of a karmic thing because these two people are, are perfect for one another. They're meant to be. It's just like these, these things keep coming between them that don't have to come between them, especially like with the way someone needs to be more open. Okay, you guys, that's what I can see coming in for the week ahead. I send you guys so much love and light. And like I said, I root for you because I, I see what you have, something that's very special, especially when I look further and see the potential outcome and how you can really create and build something beautiful together. So for some of you, um, you can take this message as a sign that maybe it's time to end the separation. Maybe it's time to come back around and try to get things on the right path. Okay, you guys, don't forget to like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I will see you in a week.